Hey all, Heber here. So uh, it's been a few hours since the release of Baldur's Gate 3 on PlayStation 5. And in this video I'll show you how easy it is to play split screen, couch co-op, local multiplayer, whatever you want to call it, with a friend, your spouse or whoever you want to play with on your own couch. And let me say right off the bat, it works fantastic. So if you got any experience with the original Divinity Original Sin or Divinity Original Sin 2, then you will know exactly what to expect in this new game from Larian Studios, which is obviously Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I've waited years for this game, especially for the couch co-op aspect. And uh, the way you start it is to choose new game not multiplay in the main menu, okay? That's uh, the same thing as in Divinity. So choose new game. So uh, after that, you go into the character creator and all you have to do is to log in with the second controller and press start. And uh, that's it. The second player will join and they will be able to create their own uh, character exactly like player one does. And uh, I will say this is amazing in such a demanding game as Baldur's Gate 3. This way you pretty much have everything running in two instances at the same time. And uh, so far I played a few hours and I will say it's technically amazing. I haven't run into any technical issues or slowdowns or anything like that. It just plays and it plays so smoothly like you think like in my opinion, this is how you should play Baldur's Gate 3. Like along with another player on your couch, having fun and you know, laughing and discussing how to solve puzzles or you know, get ahead in fights and stuff like that. It's just, uh, it's just amazing and it adds so much to the game. So uh, when saying that, obviously I am a big fan of local couch co-op in games and it doesn't happen a lot these days. It used to be very common 10, 20 years ago, but uh, these days, especially in huge AAA titles like Baldur's Gate 3, uh, most developers choose not to include split screen because it just taxes the hardware too much and I guess they'll have to you know, turn down the graphical fidelity even if you play solo. But Larian has done it and they have really pulled it off. I mean, this is an incredible uh, addition to the game and uh, pretty much the main reason to buy this game here, I think. So uh, here you see, for example, cutscenes, cut <laughs> as they're called, also work out the same way. So you just watch your own cutscene in your split screen. And uh, I must say that's, uh, that's even an improvement over Divinity. And there's a lot of improvements over Divinity. One of the best improvements is the improvement in camera angles. They're a lot more fluid and there's many more uh, levels. Like Divinity, of course, you had a more of a free camera, but uh, in Baldur's Gate you have a few settings, but it actually works better. So as you can tell here, you can go all the way up as a top-down view. Now you could do that in Divinity as well, but uh, it just works so much better here in, uh, in Baldur's Gate, it really does. And uh, of course, if you don't want to play this game as a top-down, uh, or isometric role-playing game, you can go all the way down to an over-the-shoulder look just like I did in the beginning of the game. And uh, of course, it's up to you which way you want to play. It's just nice to have the flexibility. And especially in some cases when you know these kind of games, you can't really see exactly what's going on. Uh, it's nice to be able to adjust the camera this way. And uh, if you have to look ahead, then uh, over-the-shoulder is obviously the best. So uh, fights happen just like in Divinity, or not just like it, it's actually quite different. But uh, it's turn-based and uh, everyone has their turn, including the enemies, and uh, you take them on and you try to outsmart them. If you haven't played a game like Divinity before, then uh, you know when you first look at the combat it might look a little bit like Diablo, but nothing could be further from the truth. Where in Diablo you only have to press one button, pretty mindlessly, in uh, Baldur's Gate and the Divinity games, you really have to think about what you're doing. You have to make a plan and, uh, you know, the combat can be deviously difficult, especially if you haven't built your character correctly. And uh, that's a very important part of the game. 
So uh, next up, I'll just show you how dialogue works, because again, it's separate. Each player having their own dialogue in their own screen, and they can choose their own replies. And uh, this is pretty much in line with Divinity as well, where you can just do whatever you want. And uh, that brings me to the next part of the, the joy of split screening in this game, because you can do whatever you like in your own uh, game, really. You do have two games on your screen, but there's no, uh, no one says that you have to adventure together. No one says you actually have to even be close together. And as you can see, one player can easily roam around in their inventory or look at the map or, you know, set up their character or, you know, brew some potions or craft something. And the other player can do whatever they do. They want to do at the same time. So uh, one player can be in a fight. The other player can brew potions. And uh, that's just so flexible and it's still to this day is mind-blowing how technically this is possible uh, but it is and uh, it just makes the game so much better because you don't have to wait for anyone else to do anything in their inventory just like in Diablo 3 if you ever played that uh, it's just so smooth and uh, the split screen runs in uh, quality mode always apparently and uh, that seems fine but for me I would like to try to be able to put it into performance mode, uh, but it doesn't seem to be possible, at least at the moment. But as you can tell, the frame rates are excellent and uh, the graphics are also very, very nice. I have no issues at all. And uh, something I forgot to mention earlier is that, of course, one player can do top down, the other one can do over the shoulder. Uh, there is no limit to how you want to play this game, although you're actually playing in split screen, right? So uh, this is an, an amazing, uh, achievement and uh, it makes the uh, split screen uh, or couch co-op whatever you want to call it experience just uh, very very smooth and it adds in all honesty a hundred percent enjoyment to the game so I highly highly recommend that you play Baldur's Gate 3 in a split screen couch co-op now uh, this only works on PlayStation 5 at the moment um, I heard recently that Larian had been able, been able to work out a deal with Microsoft so that when Baldur's Gate 3 launches on Xbox, you will be able to play a split screen local couch co-op on the Series X, but you will not, and I repeat, not be able to do it on the Series S. And uh, that's a huge uh, deal breaker here. If you have an Xbox Series S, it's time to upgrade if you want to play. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 so you can play this game in a uh, local couch co-op because trust me like I've said a few times in this video this way of playing it is just so much better so uh, just to conclude this video here if you've been holding off on purchasing this game because you weren't sure how well the uh, split screen couch co-op was implemented I can tell you that you should go out and buy it immediately this game is amazing and uh, the couch co-op just makes it double the fun and honestly buy it so i uh, hope you enjoyed this and see you out there